Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to build the RGB LED warp effect. I'm not going to do the soldering, I'm just going to show you the components and how they go together. Um, and pretty much you, all you need is the components on this list here, it's not, there's not much to it. It takes maybe 10-15 minutes to stick together depending on how proficient you are at soldering. First things first, you need to get your jacks and glue them together end to end with the LED in the middle, like this. Might be easier if you cut the switch terminals off the jacks as I've done on here, just to give you a bit more room. But pretty much that is what you're looking at. And this is the first part, really easy. That's it. Super glue, epoxy, whatever you can stick it together with will be good. Next stage is connect the earth wires or the grounds, which is here and here to the ground on the LED, which is the short terminal for those of you that are sort of new to this. As you can see, nothing too fancy, just a wire slung between the ground points and then a 1k resistor added to the signal path and to the long leg of the LED. That's pretty much it. And then the final bit we have a 10 UF cap that's attached to the long leg of the LED and the 1k resistor and the other side with the line goes to the output pin of this jack again very easy you can see and then you've got a little oscillator that will work with any kind of CV source you put into it and it does some crazy things with sine waves um, and like loads of different stuff on, on uh, Eurorack modules. If, if you plug these in, it kind of messes things up a bit. But for the moment, I'll just plug it into one of my little chaos synths. We'll get an idea of what's going on. Here we go, the LED's working. And I'll plug the other end in. All it's doing is it's using this box as a CV source and this is oscillating based upon whatever's coming out of here. Give you an idea of, of, of kind of what it does. Like I say, plug it into a Eurorack module, you'll get some crazy effects off it. And all I usually do with these after is get some hot glue and just pretty much cover them up with hot glue. Done. You don't need to worry about seeing the LED. It's obviously there just as a load and to actually cause the oscillation and just make sure the rest of it's all covered so that nothing shorts out. You're good to go. 